Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to day 24 of the Inktober Challenge. On your screen there you can see the official rules for Inktober, uh, followed by my unofficial rules for using digital inks that I've given myself because I want to make my experience using digital inks as close to the traditional experience as possible. In case you're wondering what my digital inks are, I'm using my Pablo Coast 22 pen display monitor, which I've teamed with a copy of Clip Studio Paint EX, and within that software I'm sticking to using the eraser, pencil and pen tools. Uh, today's drawing is based on my on characters from my 1995 animated short Puppy Love. Uh, this animation was a Little Red Riding Hood parody in which uh, Little Red Riding Hood uh, really wanted a puppy and she sort of envisions the wolf as being her ideal puppy rather than a threatening wolf. Sort of every time she sees him, she wants to just hug him and hold him and treat him like a puppy dog, which uh, sort of causes the wolf to be fairly confused and taken aback and not really sure how to react when all his sort of attempts to be fierce and scary just don't seem to be working. And in case you're interested to know more about that animation, I did make a video on it that's on this channel and I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, within that video you can see all the behind the scenes sketching that I did to create the animation and I tell you a bit about uh, the software that I used and how all the pictures were um, drawn into the computer. Uh, it's quite an interesting video in the sense that when I made the animation it was uh, before a lot of the modern animation software was available and uh, while um, computer animation itself was sort of, sort of in its infancy so it's a very different experience making that animated short to how I would make it now. But anyhow, this particular drawing is based on the final scene of that animation in which uh, the wolf makes one last attempt to be really threatening uh, inside Grandma's house, but Red Riding Hood's sort of having none of it and still jumps up and hugs him and just keeps him confused and he pretty much gives up after that. And so that's what I wanted to show here. This is sort of that moment where uh, the wolf has tried that last ditch attempt to be fierce. Uh, Red Riding Hood's jumped up and started hugging him and he's just at that point where he's giving up and not really knowing what to do. Uh, overall with this particular drawing, uh, I was quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, at some point while I was drawing it, I must have zoomed out slightly on the page, which meant compared to other drawings, I was actually drawing this uh, slightly at a slightly smaller magnification than previous drawings, actually making the inking um, a touch harder, not a whole lot harder, because if it had been I would have really noticed that I'd zoomed out, but I didn't, but didn't, and I kept going and still managed to come up with a fairly uh, good drawing in the end, so. But yeah, I only noticed that I zoomed out when I finished this, and uh, aligned the page back up with the viewing window, which Usually the page is the same size as the viewing window with that all throughout, but somehow I got zoomed out. Uh, but there's not too much more I can tell you about this. Uh, these characters, if you've been a regular on my channel or on my blog, 
at all you will have seen them in my blog header and I think they're in my YouTube channel header on my Tet Animations channel as well. Uh, they're characters that I would like to revisit again in the future and perhaps even remaking the animated short uh, using the more advanced animation software that we had now that we have now uh, which would allow me to do a lot more because the original animated was animation was fairly limited in what I could do and much of it was sort of switching between two frames to get the animation rather than doing the 24 frames a second thing that you would uh, you can generally do much easier these days or creating puppet rigs and that kind of thing where you can have tweening happen uh, I didn't have any of that available to me really back when I did the original animated short so it would be nice to do it again or we'll remake it and perhaps work on the sequel that I had planned uh, which I did a few sketches and a bit of a storyboard too, but never got much further than that because of Largely because of the amount of work involved but There you go. That's the finished artwork uh, I am fairly happy with how it turned out uh, Some fairly good line work I thought so I can sort of see some improvements from when I started this whole challenge in the beginning so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video until the next one. Thanks for watching.